One more run. One more run with this guy. He's gotta go home with the big number or don't go home. There's my strap. The car is no good. Hey, there's my ESE. <laughs> it cut off of me and then I lost everything. I, I lost it at the end. All right, let's see, is it right? Okay, we got the Vendetta here in the house. So let's see what damage we got. So pretty much this thing I could heat up and put this thing all back together, heat this up, push it in. Already, this was bent out, so I pushed it in. This is perfectly fine. And um, we lost a body pause. That's no problem. We can fix this all this up. I'm gonna actually cut this off because it keeps rubbing here. So that's gonna be something that I don't need to worry about. Um, opposite side is perfectly fine. Let's go in the back. So what happened here was, uh, I'm gonna consider this as my braking fault. And the problem I have is when I'm running these cars, I'm fully gunning it. And then as the stop ends, I end up pushing the brake, bam, shirt up from fully throttle. I'm going fully brake. And that's making me lose control of the vehicles. So this thing went into the wall, hit this and bam. And then this side came in, the back side came in and it is smashed here. So this body pretty much got smashed right in. That's what happened there. So I'm gonna go get some parts. I'm gonna stick with the body. The chassis is fine. You got a small little hit right here. I can glue that up. That's no problem. And if I wanna change it, I'll change it. But the drive shaft is still breaking. This ESC gotta go. But our drive shaft is perfectly good. Over here, um, we broke. Well, I'm not sure if this control arm is done. Yeah, I'm going to change this control arm because it got little dent to it. This little shaft is good. All this is good. The axle's good. I'm going to need a shock. And that's it. That's everything. So control arm, a new shock, and that's it. And now front splitter. Oh, also, the rear board cut here. So this is this piece I probably got somewhere laying around. Uh, so one thing for sure, not a big damage bulkhead. And I got that thing laying around. I'm going to go look in there right now. You know what? Let's go right now. Let's put on some lighting over here. We're going to walk into this dark room. We're going to put on the lighting. And we're going to look for that bulkhead, which is looking at me right there. This is where all my stuff is, as you guys can see. Most of the sometimes you got to keep stuff in stock. Sometimes you're not going to have everything, but here's our real bulkhead. Uh, they call it a complete upper gearbox cover, shock tower. And that's what they call it. And this is what it looked like. And I did use this on uh, my uh, one of my other cars. So it comes as set front and back. So the front one is a little different. You see it's a little longer than the back one. So we're going to take this apart. Get this out of the bag, and this guy is the problem solved. So it's probably gonna be a few bolts from the bottom though. So we're gonna have to dismantle the whole. It's like four or five bolts in the bottom. We take off this motor and the shaft and everything, and this baby can go in there. So we got that. Throw this baby out of here. So over here we got this little shaft. I took off the little screw from right over here. So how this goes is, uh, I might. Uh, this is not a big damage here either. I'm gonna fix this up as well. I'm gonna squeeze this with a tweezer. And then we're going to put this baby right through there. And it should be a good fix there. And that's how that's going to go. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read work on my... I do need to get a shock. I don't have a shock. and uh, Or I could just take it off one of my cars that's sitting. But I'd rather just... Because I'm going to open it up. Put some... Uh, I'm going to take out the oil and put some uh, tubings on the inside. And uh, so I might just get another shock. And this kind of look... It's kind. It kind of look bent yeah it is it's done i'm gonna need everything here the whole shock assembly so i'll pick up a few shocks i have it in stock anyway anyways other than that we're all good you got a small little crack right there which is not a big deal um 
And I got a lot of splitters just sitting out here. I do have a lot of splitters. So I need to put another one in. And I'm going to use the other new GRPs. Anyways, uh, let me fix this baby up. And then you guys are going to see this thing back in action. So I took a little bit of heat and uh, straightened that up. So if you look inside here, right in there, you got a couple of uh, spacers there. I don't have those, so I got to pick those up. But we are going to continue to put this baby back together. So the axles got to go in. And uh, one hand is always crazy. So first, we're going to have to put this axle in here. Let's see if I can find the correct routing. Or maybe that axle is no good, but it should be good. So this thing just needs to go in there. I'm going to get that in there. Because this axle does go only one way. You see this slots bigger, fatter, wider, and skinnier. So it's only going to go in one direction, okay? And uh, let's see which direction is that. There you go. This thing should just slide right in. And then we're going to have to align this guy at the same time. We're going to have to get that little shaft in there. So I'm going to get that lined first. So once this baby's in and you can just push this right through. And then we do have that little screw. Remember we took off this screw. Um, this little tiny screw goes right here to block the path from it coming back out. Okay, so let's put that baby on. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. Okay, so here we are. Sometimes you got to look into your graveyard, okay? Like we got broken cars, RCs. Sometimes the parts are there when you need them. So pretty much, here's the shock. Okay, pretty good shock right here. Came off another Vendetta. Uh, my friend's Vendetta. So in this little guy, I am going to be using... Um, so here's the shock that's ours broken. And the shaft seems to be bent too. So we're going to completely use this shock here. But this shock is missing that little piece in the bottom. And what we'll do is we'll just pop that off this little guy. Put it onto that guy. Or we'll just take off this bottom piece and put it onto that. And sometimes you got to make a magic happen. You never know when you're going to need parts. So I'll be having all this junk over here. I need to fix this place up. But all this junk here doesn't mean it's garbage. You never know when you're going to need something, okay? All this junk is good stuff. Sometimes uh, little, little things that you can use. Thank you for watching my video, guys. So I'm going to put this baby together. And I am going to be, I do have a video on all the stuff that I show. So everything that I'm going to be doing on this vehicle, you already probably got a video up there. So here's some little spacers that I'm going to use inside these shocks. No more using those uh, strap ties to keep these babies down. So um, my car is pretty much when I'm braking, it wants to go to one side, okay? My braking, what I do is I go from 100% throttle to 100% uh, braking. That's no good either because it's doing, it's going so fast. And all of a sudden it wants to stop and it wants to do a 360 and all kinds of stuff. So pay attention to that. No more 100% to 100% uh, throttle to 100% braking. Anyways gonna fix this baby up and i need to get some spacers for in here other than that i'm all set okay the vendetta is back and built a little bit of work in the back body is left there but i strained up everything and let's take a look inside let's look at the body first so i heated the body up i strained up the body as much as i could and i glued it up a bit from down here and here i'm gonna work on it more with the gluing and uh probably carbon firing it and uh that's that. The body is nice and set. Sometimes you got to make magic happen, okay? Let's put that to the side. Okay, so it's the suspension is even more stiffer than before. And um, no more strap ties. So we fixed up the tubings inside. We put solid uh, um, solid tubings inside. Uh, this is what I used. A bunch of crap here. Uh, this is what I use. I do got a video on all this stuff. So those are the little spacers I used on the inside of these shocks. So there's no, there's no, that car come back up and there's no uneven surface. Okay. Everything's got to be perfect. Working on the inner spool still. You guys can check this out. This is where I created originally, but this has got to go. It's got to go. That thing is no good. And it, it, I mean, it did 160 mile per hour. I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to keep this as a souvenir. Stays with this baby. Anyway, going to reuse the GRPs. Nothing happened to these. I'm going to glue them up. You guys probably thinking, damn, I created this whole car all over. In a, in, in a couple of hours, I built the whole thing right back. I glued up the bottom. I glued up the chassis there. And uh, 
same splitter. I use the heat, use this freaking lighter, and I straighten out the whole splitter, working on a little bit more. Took me no more than 20 minutes there. And uh, same wheels. We're gonna glue up, this is the back one that took most of the beating, but um, I'm gonna put these on the balancer and see how they look like, but we glue this whole thing up. So the Vendetta is back in business and it's gonna be better than before. And uh, gonna pick up a better ESC. We're not gonna use the Mamba Monster X anymore. Mamba X, I'm sorry. We're gonna, we're gonna use the MMS8, X8. So that way we don't lose any control. And uh, look at the wiring, the wiring out of the ESC broke, so I'll repair that. And probably put that thing for sale. Um, gonna get the hot racing spool, create that, recreate that, and then take it from there. You guys will see this baby soon in action. Okay, here we are. We got the wheel and the balancer. And uh, the biggest damage it took is you see the spokes here, they kind of bent, which is not a big deal. I'll straighten that up. But check this out this thing is still in balance. Whoops. What am I doing? I'm gonna have to put my hand in here. Turn it, and I just want to give it a good spin, and the balance is still solid. Tiny bit, that's how it was, but it's looking good. So the beauty of this is, all the damages it took, all the damages, scratches and scrapes, the Vendetta took, that is the beauty of it. Um, all the hell that it went through, and she's back alive to go out there one more time. It could be another disaster coming, but it is what it is, because that's something you can't change, but you learn from your mistakes. So stay tuned. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this baby up. I'm going to straighten up that spoke. None of the other wheels took any damages, only that one. And that was where the main damage was, but I inspected the whole car. Everything looks good. So you will see this baby back in action. Just waiting on a few parts, internal parts, and I'm uh, going to get another ESC because that's got to go. And uh, and another spool for this baby instead of the spool we created. It's not perfectly straight, okay? The gear is not perfectly straight. So that's what I was running, 34, um, 32. That was the gearing there. Anyways, thank you for watching.